morning everybody captain todd here as you see i got the boat in tow tow towing the boat to uh the st john's river i'm going to launch in the st john's river today near Wallachia, florida um, it's the end of december here in florida it's nice and warm out but it's very foggy today so we won't get much sun but i found this place in the florida diving guide called the croaker hole it's in the river um, and how it describes it is you dive well, you find the spot and you look for the spot by looking for the, the boil on the top of the water where the spring shoots up. And you dive down about 20 feet through Florida black water. Uh, all rivers in Florida are black unless they're very near a spring where that water is crystal clear. But you go down about 20 feet through this black water and then you're supposed to break out into the clear water coming out of the spring. And this current is fairly strong. They describe it as you have to go hand over hand and work your way um, up the tunnel where the water's coming out of. So it's about 40 feet deep, and then the tunnel they say is about 50 feet long, and it's they describe it as being very picturesque. So hopefully I can get the deep trekker into the uh, spring and then down. Last week's video you saw I was at Salt Springs, and uh, that current is very strong. So I might take the grabber arm off to get rid of that drag. Um, I don't expect to pick up anything down there. If I see something I need to pick up, I'll just bring it back up and put the grabber arm back on. But uh, the grabber arm does add a lot of drag, makes it hard to control the current. And I don't think I'll need it, so I'll take the grabber arm off. So that's my adventure for today. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had a great Christmas and um, watch the video. Thank you. All right, we're coming up on the edge of the hole. We're at 5.7 now. I'll go to the far side of it and stay away from that fisherman. Um, but I, I want to watch the watch it drop off. They're starting to slope down a little. And there it goes. There it drops off. Pushing around 38 feet, getting better. Oh, now we're clear water. Look at that. Holy cow. It just cleared right up. All right, bring it up. Now let's go explore a spring. Bring it up, bring it up. Oops. Bring it up. It's still 22 degrees down. Go that way, Todd. It's clear that way. There is definitely a current pushing at me. I have 14 degrees down. The camera's 30. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get over that rock. Go this way. To the left. Go up. Get over the rock. I should have left the grabber arm off. Oh, it does protect the bottom of the plexiglass. 41 feet. Still not in the deep part of the deep part of the spring but the water is definitely clear but man look at it push me around I wonder if I'm in the cave well, I don't know if the GoPro can see this Come down here GoPro that water is definitely clearer now what's that There's, I'm definitely down inside of a little cave. Come on, get down, get down. There's some fish. Wow, look at that. The fish. Poke them in the butt. I'm going to go to the left here. Forty feet of water, so I'm still not in the deepest part of the spring yet, but I'm definitely in a current. So, oh, lost my bearings. Where am I? Right in the bottom. Get down there. Yeah, so it's pushing me to the left. So I'm going to turn right and go into the current. So I'm definitely in it now. Ooh, 
This just hit me. He was attacking me. What do we got there? What is that thing? Glow sticks someone left behind? Some diver, probably? Let's see what that is. Well, the gentleman I was just talking to, his brother dives here all the time, and he says there's a fresh water spring and a salt water. I don't know what that thing is. But I'm dead. In the spring now. All right, so there's a rock. That's probably the cave. Get down there. Yeah, see the opening there. Let's see if I can get in there a little farther. Come up. Catfish. Uh oh, lost my location. Catfish distracted me. Lost my situational awareness. So there's that marker again. I don't know what those things are. I guess they're just some sort of... Whoa! Current is pushing me around. be interesting to see. I can't wait to see the video on board. My tether's tight, so I need to keep my throttle going and give it some more tether here. Oops, get up here. There's another one of those catfishes. Oh, yeah, definitely got a current, strong one coming out. I'm almost full. All right, so there's those. They're pipes. I wonder what those were. They almost look like flashlights. I can't see them. It'll look better on the video once I offload it on my computer. Ooh, this is neat. Go down there, Todd. Right. So I'm full throttle. I'm barely making headway. Alright, give it some more tether. Tether out. This is awesome. Must be that cave that the book talks about. I have to keep the. I'm gonna move the camera up. See what we see up there. Yep, I'm in a cave. Oh, that light sucks. Bring the camera back down. Whoa, whoa! So I'm definitely inside of a cave now with the with Duncan. Get in there. I might be hitting that rock. Whoa. Whoa. Not too many. Ow. I lost my situational awareness again. Where am I? Find the bottom. Right, there's my tether. Find the current. Mr. Rock. Let's go this way. My hat back on. The Florida sun is coming out. All right, where am I? I'm facing 170. Looks like I'm. Yeah, I'm definitely going into the current. All right, so there's our. Markers again. Here we go. Ah, it blew me out of the cave. Dang it. That's where I was now. Catfishes. All right, they're swimming into the current, so I'll follow them. Ooh, back down. Forward. 
Yeah, if you ever get one of these deep trekkers, guys, get the auxiliary lights. They are so much better than the, uh, the ones that are mated with the camera. Now, in this situation, you see the lights are above my field of view because I got the camera tilted down. And so that ain't good, but the ones that are with the camera um, just blind you and you get a lot of reflection back off the lens. Hey, Mr. Catfish. All right, I've seen this rock before, I think. So I'm going to go this way and around him. And then I'm going to go down there. Oops. Mr. Cable. Oh, man made brick. All right, so there's that opening I went into. There's my markers. So I'm back to where I was. Fast forward. Right down angle. I mean, that the volume of water coming out of this hole is immense. I mean, I'm full throttle right now, and I'm barely moving. The tether is not taut. So now I'm in the cave. Oops, oops, oops. I, mean, I thought it was in the cave. Let me give it more tether. I want to go deeper in there if I can. Left. Down, down, down. All right, come on. Oh, oops. I'm at 43 feet, so I'm... Where am I? Follow the catfish. All else fails, follow the catfish. All right, pass that brick once. There's the current coming right at me. Okay, I'm around that brick. There's those markers again, wherever they are. Get over this rock tab. Oops. Reminds me of that scene in the abyss when uh, the little rovers were swirling back and forth when they were trying to tow that atomic bomb away. I'm just trying to get a video. Oh, that's awesome. I think it blew me out of the hole again. 40 feet shallowing a little, come back down. And so there's current. There's a, I can't seem to get past those markers. Could be the current, my lack of driving skill. There's that brick. Come up, get over the rock. We'll go to the right of the rock this time. Turn the camera. I'm, you know, the, the grabber arm is probably causing a lot of drag, but it is protecting the bottom of the, uh, the sub against all these rocks. Get down there, Doc. Get down there. All right, get past the markers. There's that wall again. Down. Ooh. What I don't want to do is get this in a spot where it's jammed. That is so not that thousand dollar oh he's stuck in a cave i should have brought my scuba gear i could have gone rescued it if i had to this is awesome though. look at that come up, come up a little right, get past him whoa sorry about the jerky video guys but um the current just is we can have it on the ROV. I haven't got much past that roof. I think because the uh, the current is holding me in place. I'm full throttle right now and not moving forward. The tether has slack in it. Come back. Come on. There you go. Lost my situational awareness again. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that my tether? Yeah, there she is. There's Mr. Catfish. Apparently, oh, look at these guys. Um, depending on the season, the water temperature, all that stuff, this hole is either full of catfish or full of stripers, um, full of all kinds of game fish. Um, the guy says you just got to be here at the right time and know what what's there on any given moment and then what bait to use. 
Well, this is absolutely awesome. So my next adventure I want to do is going to be out in the ocean. There's another spring off the coast of Crescent Beach called, well, there's two of them. There's a Crescent Beach sinkhole, which is only about three or four miles off the beach. Um, I passed over it once, and you can see it on the uh, sonar. It, was, it looked like two spikes, two pyramids, and it was probably the fresh water um, causing the reflection of the sonar. Um, I haven't able, been able to find it. I think I have some good numbers now. And coming up in the future, there's another one called Snapper Sink. It's 32 miles out in the ocean. And it's described in the dive book as um, the ocean floor is 95 feet all around there, and then it drops off to 135 feet. And then there's a chimney that divers have been down into, down to 300 feet. Um, there's those markers again. And they sounded out to 482 feet. Now, if it has this type of current, um, I'll get it as deep in there as I can, but that's one I need a boating buddy with me. Um, and I need a good weather day and a good sea state day before I take this boat 32 miles offshore. Which I don't have a problem doing. I've gone 25 miles in it. And I have a radio and I have an e and I have all the safety gear in case I should get into trouble. I don't want to get past this spot though. Boulder. Okay, there's my rock. Oh, there's a Mr. Fish. Oh, now the sun's coming out. I can bring my lid. Look at this boulder. Alright. I think that's much farther than I've been yet. I'm definitely past those markers. 44 feet depth, and there's a roof. Ooh, look at that. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Now what I don't want to do is snag my tether in here and cause a problem with so I really gotta watch it. The sun is blinding me now. I wish I had my lid. Oops. Hello, Mr. Boulder. You just stay where you are. Well, that is so cool. Now, I might have to come back here and dive this sometime because this is cool. I have this fear against diving in black water because there's alligators, but 